The Wildcats finished the non-conference schedule undefeated for the fourth year in a row, a mark which looked even more impressive at season's end, as Rice, Cincinnati, and Indiana State all finished the year with winning records. The Wildcats' 4-0 start propelled them into the top 10 and set up an early October showdown with two-time defending national champion Nebraska. Freshman kicker Jamie Ream provided an early spark with this career-long 51-yard field goal. But a near record crowd of 44,000 at KSU Stadium wasn't enough to hold off the Huskers as Nebraska broke loose in the second half for a 39-3 victory. A hallmark of K-State's rise under Bill Snyder has been the Wildcats' ability to bounce back from adversity. The handful of losses that have dotted the Wildcats' record recently have all been followed by impressive wins the next week. This year was no exception as the Wildcats stormed into Missouri and routed the Tigers 35-10. Offense, defense, and special teams all played a part in this one. Again, shotgun for Kavanaugh. Looks, sets, waits, throws over the middle. Pass caught by Andre Anderson. 35, 30, Anderson's got the running room. 20, 15, 10, 5, Andre dives. Did he get in? Touchdown! You know, like coming into the season, they was like, well, you know, got to get you as a consistent start, you know. And then um, at the first two games, it was kind of off and on. But uh, that um, Missouri game, I first scored, and it was start coming on. I started coming into place. I started making plays. And um, those three little games that I had, you know, it, it kind of, it kind of helped me out a lot with my confidence, and, and like every game I was just scoring, and I was like, well, good job here. So, but, um, but the Missouri was, hey, that was, and McCaff hit me on the under, and it was, hey, it was just off to the races from there. Candy back in the Wildcat 40-yard line, so K-State should get good field position here. Sebo gets the boot away, a low kick. Candy's going to let it bounce. Now we'll pick it up at his own 42. Candy to the 45, to midfield, to the 45. Candy to the 40, 35, still on his feet, 30. Chris to the 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Chris Candy goes in for the first Wildcat punt return for a touchdown since Andre Coleman a couple of years ago. It was a, it was a low kick. I guess we had got some pressure. It was a low kick, and uh, you know, I ran up to field it, but you know, it hit short, kind of took a big bounce, you know, and, uh, you know, all, all the time coach tells me, you know, to, to kind of loop around and, and wait for the bounce, you know. You know, I, I looped around and, and, you know, made the, made, wait for the bounce and picked it up, and, uh, you know, uh, everybody just started cleaning people up, and, uh, you know, pretty much from there, you know, it was nothing but green. Scornia has got him up to the line of scrimmage on fourth down and five. Split backs behind him. Twins to the near side. Scorny a long count, back straight back in the pocket, sets, throws toward the end zone, pass, picked off, picked off by K-State. It's Mario Smith to the 20, 30, 40, midfield. I remember telling Chris Canty that I'm about to get an interception, and uh, they were throwing slants. They threw a slant play before, which I could have intercepted, but uh, Joe Gordon stepped in front of it, and uh, the next one, I happened to step in front of the slant, and it was open field from there. And now Wyron with a block on the quarterback. That was easy selling from there. The win at Missouri also marked the emergence of a more focused and more aggressive Mike Lawrence. He shredded the Tiger defense for a career-high 168 yards and two touchdowns. After a slow start in 1996, his performance against Mizzou was a prelude of things to come. Probably the Missouri game when I first started, you know, to get back on track. I had a... 168 yards in that game, and you know, I just in the beginning year, you know, you know, I start off a little slow. I thought that I would start off better, but I just had so much on my mind that you know, I uh, I didn't know what I was doing, where I was going, and you know, after you know, I just told myself I can't do this no more, and I made a couple of changes, and you know, I bounced back. You know, I started to do what I needed to do in, in order to help our team win. I did my job. Touchdown, Kansas State. Mike Warren. The Wildcats' second trip to the Lone Star State was monumental, to say the least. Texas A&M had only lost two home games at Kyle Field in the 90s. But K-State continued its outstanding play on the road 
with a stunning 23-20 victory. The Wildcats roared out of the gate to take a commanding 20-3 lead just three minutes into the second period. Anderson and Lockett set to the far side. Candy to the near side, one back behind Kavanaugh's Lawrence. Back to throw is Bryant. Sets, looks, throws for the end zone. The pass is caught in the back of the end zone. It is a touchdown for Kansas State. Andre Anderson made a beautiful catch in the back of the end zone. And the Wildcats now go up 19-3. Well, we had to get off to a, to a quick start to quiet that crowd. because It's a tough place to play. I mean, they've got 70,000 rubber fans screaming. I mean, singing, swaying, chanting, they do everything. And it, it's really hard on a especially opposing offense. I'm up there trying to make my audibles and stuff, and I can't hear myself yelling hardly. So, I mean, it, it was real important for us to come out and get that jump. A late rally gave the Aggies a brief glimmer of hope, but K-State's defense rose to the occasion in the final minutes. One minute left in this football game. 23-20, K-State. a and with the ball at the cat, 35, third and five. Stewart, two-step drop, throws over the middle, pass is caught for a first down. And inside, he fumbled the football at the end of the play, and K-State has come up with a football. Albert Connell, Connell got the pass, but got popped at the end of the run. He fumbles the ball, and K-State recovers at the 18-yard line. All day was kind of off and on battle. You know, he would get me, I would get him. And he would get me, I would get him. Just kind of back and forth, you know, you know, uh, you know down in Texas, you know, <laughs> they got so many fans and, and so much, you know, noise and, and distraction, you know, it, it was kind of hard for us to, you know, pick up intensity and, and keep playing. But, uh, you know, that last series, uh, we, we knew we had to buckle down and, and really come out and play. And, uh, you know, they threw a slant my way. I kind of stumbled, you know, off, off the first. And, uh, you know, he caught the slant and, and kind of took out a little bit. And, uh, you know, I seen Mario come in and trying to wipe him out. And, uh, you know, he kind of tried to sidestep him and, you know, threw the ball off to the side. And, uh, you know, I... You know, I, I never quit it on the play and just came off, came across and, and stretched it pretty much. Two seconds, one seconds. K-State doesn't even have to take a snap. The Wildcats go to 6-1 and one with a win. Only the third team to come into Kyle Field and win here in the 90s. The Wildcats are one of them. Put them in the books. It's 6-1 and one for K-State after a 23-20 win over the Texas A&M Aggies. The Wildcats followed almost a similar script to victory the following week against Oklahoma. They burst to a big lead against the traditional power, weathered a late rally, and then called on a big play from Chris Canty to save the game. The Wildcats took advantage of outstanding field position to score touchdowns on its first three possessions and build a 21-0 first quarter lead. Offset eye this time on third and goal, Kavanaugh with a signal runs the option play makes the pitch to Mike Lawrence and Lawrence goes in for six Kansas State runs the option on third and goal and Kavanaugh with a pitch to Lawrence who takes it around the right side and in third and goal still an eye formation for the Wildcats Kavanaugh calls out the signals turns and throws the ball in the middle touchdown for Kansas State he finds Jared Gross to the, the tight end from St. Paul a one yard pitch and K-State now leads 13 to nothing nine seconds left of the first quarter Kavanaugh under center with three right outs to the far side. Back to throw, Brian looking, sets, throws, pass. Is caught by Andre Anderson for a K-State touchdown. Kavanaugh with a beautiful throw. Anderson shielded the defender, and the Wildcats go up 20 to nothing. By the time Brian Kavanaugh had hooked up with Kevin Lockett on this 33-yard touchdown pass early in the third quarter, the Wildcats had built a 35-7 lead. But backup quarterback Eric Moore rallied the Sooners for four second half touchdowns, closing the gap to 42-35 in the final minutes and setting the stage for another dramatic play by number two. Eric Moore, who has been brilliant in relief today of Justin Fuente. Back to throw is Moore. Looking, now rolls the pocket. K-State chasing. Moore throws a pass. It's picked off. Chris Candy with an interception at the Oklahoma 46-yard line. It's Candy's 13th interception. In play before, you, before that, you know, they had ran a boot against us and completed, I guess, for about 35 yards, you know. Um, and, uh, you you know, uh, going in that last that last drive, you know, we, we knew we had to stop them, you know. We, uh, we knew, you know, we, we were kind of losing momentum, you know. Uh, first of all, from the game, we, we you know, we got out pretty big, and, um, you know, we lost momentum, and, uh, you know, they had ran that play, and I, I guess, you know, we, we knew, kind of knew it was coming, you know. And, uh, you know, I, I was sticking my man across the field, and, uh, you 
I seen, you know, Eric Moore scramble out and step up in the pocket and threw the ball, you know, and I, I just stepped in front of him and made the play. The win was K-State's fourth in a row over the tradition-rich Sooner program and carried with it this historical significance. K-State became just the fourth football program ever to win four games in a row over Oklahoma. And for the fourth consecutive year, Tulsa native Kevin Lockett blitzed his home state team with 12 receptions for 157 yards and a touchdown.